Okay. okay. So um, just going to be doing that. So the only thing I ask while I'm doing that is that you don't speak through. Okay. So just let me let me just do this. Okay. All right. It's probably the best way. This is David Davidson. This is March 30th, 2023. I'm looking at a 1955 Fender Stratocaster serial number 7986 for visual inspection uh, to determine authenticity and um, to uh, go through each part of the guitar as I see it. Uh, the customer has asked me not to disassemble the guitar for any reason, and I'm not going to do so. So this appraisal will be based strictly on visual observation of the external parts of the guitar. So we're going to start up at the neck. It is a one-piece maple neck, maple fingerboard combination with original nut with V-shaped slots, uh, original string tree, which is round, uh, correct, an original Fender decal. Uh, tuners have front loading spots for tuners have barely been used. This may be three, four sets of strings on this guitar ever, if even. Uh, fingerboard has exhibits uh, two cowboy uh, wear spots, one the first fret, fret at the G string and the second at the A string and the second fret, rest of the fingerboard is as original. Uh, there are a couple of tiny manufacturing uh, dings in the fretboard, which I believe happened after the guitar, or during the manufacturing process and not afterwards. In reviewing the pickguard assembly, again, the external part of the pickguard assembly, uh, it appears that it has never been removed any time. Uh, all the screws that are in there are uh, without any kind of tooling marks at all. So none have been adjusted, nor have the screws that support the three-way switch or the jack cup. Okay, the pickup height adjustment screws have all been adjusted on more than one occasion and there are screwdriver tooling marks there. So I can see that the pickups have been raised and lowered at some point. Uh, everything appears to be original. There is no weight, uh, no wear or tear to the original Bakelite covers over the pickups. Uh, two knobs have green vertebrae. Uh, the third knob is still mostly its original gold. When I examine the knobs and each digit on each knob is identical, leading me to believe that all three knobs are original to the guitar, as is the switch tip. Um, as far as the bridge is concerned, the bridge uh, intonation length screws have been adjusted on multiple times, probably just during routine guitar setup, uh, as well as some of the Allen key string height screws. One of the screws actually has heavy wear and it may be stripped, um, but we'll confirm afterwards. The uh, body of the guitar is uh, is pretty immaculate, has a few uh, gentle scrapes and bumps, which is normal. This is a solid one-piece ash body with its original two-tone sunburst finish. Neck plate screws have never been disassembled for any reason. Same with the screws that hold the tuners to the back of the headstock. The uh, vibrato uh, cover on the back, which has six screws, look to be unmoved, but I cannot tell if all five springs are in there or not, because I can't see in there, obviously. Um, strap buttons have never been removed off the guitar. The overall hardware condition is immaculate, uh, virtually as new as are the stamp steel uh, saddles. That will cover it. Um, I will have to, you know, just get this down on paper. So that's pretty much the story. Um, probably anything else that I've overlooked. Uh, may make a 
second recording is necessary. Oh, then one other thing. Original tweed cases, center pocket, exceptional condition, contains original bridge cover, vibrato arm, polished cloth, and original bag, original rusty staple, construction sheet with no rust on the staple, uh, original cord, and original strap. All in fantastic and versatile used condition. Thank you.